The global pandemic has put the vibrancy of the Danforth on pause as many businesses here and across the GTA say they are days away from turning off the lights for good and they are banding together to ask the governments for relief. I stand to lose everything. Nathan Hines pub restaurant on the Danforth has been closed for over two weeks now. With no income being generated, he says he feels helpless. He joined forces with the Broadview Danforth BIA, consisting of 350 members, to launch a campaign. Don't turn off the lights on small businesses. There's been nothing to protect commercial businesses who, you know, may or may not be able to, to cover their rent this month. Rent can cost anywhere between five and $20,000, according to board member Philip Kosev, who is also a real estate broker with his own firm on the Danforth. Together with the BIA, they're calling on the province to ban evictions by commercial landlords and for both levels of government to issue payment freezes, including for rent and mortgages. There's something we need to think about on how do people cover their rent, whether it's a residential or a commercial tenant. Similarly, another city councillor also issued calls on the governments to provide relief not only to small businesses, but also to renters. Despite the province putting a pause on evictions, Josh Matlow says tenants in his wards have been getting notices from landlords. They're asking for immediate relief so that they can stay in their homes. And I also think it's reasonable to expect that the provincial government provide offsets for landlords, especially the small landlords, that um, will also be devastated if they don't receive uh, their income as well. In Ottawa, the feds provided details on a subsidy that will be made available to small or big businesses that have lost at least 30% in revenue, also allowing them to access interest-free loans. We're helping businesses with their cash flow to pay for operating costs like rent by creating the Canada Emergency Response Benefit to give $2,000 per month to those who don't qualify for EI. The feds say the CRA portal will be launching soon so that businesses can apply for these subsidies in the next couple of weeks. The funds will be available in six weeks. For business owners like Nathan, the help can't come soon enough. Watching my neighbor lock his door today was like, uh, just a slap in the face, you know, it was like you have been totally abandoned by your landlord, by uh, the government. Meanwhile, the province says they will be offering interest free deferrals for up to five months for most taxes and they won't be collecting from municipalities for 90 days to boost the cash flow of businesses. On the Danforth, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.